I have mentioned online how I fixed my old Xbox 360 when it had the red ring of death. Actually, it's not mine. I got it from a friend, but it was just red ringing when I got it. And I fixed it. It's very playable right now. I have mentioned online how I fixed it. People have asked, how about a video? Because it's a text, it's a bit much. You know, why not? How about not putting it off and then show? You are gonna need cooling paste, thermal paste, some uh, bug roll to wipe old cooling paste, red screwdriver and various bits, mainly Torx of some size, and some flatheads, some uh, Q-tips for uh, old cooling paste, container for ethanol. That is, oh yeah, also, Printer paper, I already have in mind, but uh, yeah. Printer paper is also used. All right, let's get this going. Put the tools, the materials aside. And let get, let's get this box open. A friend just uh, had his old Xbox. It was red ringing, he never needed it anymore. Uh, just passed that in his life, I guess. So he gave it to me, and as mentioned, I fixed it miraculously. Let's get the front off first. Want the flat hat there? Click another click. Let's see, it can be a little. In some of these parts, click. That's usually easy. Just this one. Just gonna put that away. And then we want the grills off, top and bottom. Switching to a smaller bit. They have tabs underneath here. We need to push in through the holes here. go I don't know it's easy enough so I've got a little more fiddly come on need to get the little foot pad here wrenched off it's kind of off because it has the hole for the tab underneath So good. And there. Now, almost done, but we need a longer flathead. Because the last tabs are underneath the bit that doesn't have holes. So we need to get in and pull them manually. For the most fiddly part. Back. Getting through the security. If this takes a while, I might speed that. We'll see. Usually, the professionals have specific tools that can get into each of the uh, holes with pins that needs to be pressed down. But to improvise, we can. Apply a bit of pressure apart. Thank <laughs> you. 
and we're open. Fiddly, that, that's just how it's done. Now we just need to open the front, easy enough. Bit of pressure. There, 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 and there. That's the first cover of the Xbox. You will probably have some X clamps here, but I'll get to that later. They used to hold the heat sink in, but I've been a jackass and six. And before I forget, the button, take a flathead, just underneath a bit of green. And it pops out. Flip it out after the flip it around after the six screws, and we're inside. Start out by taking the DVD drive, two cables in the back, one gently wiggle it out. Don't want to break anything. Two. Put it aside. Heating cover. Well, funnel. It's usually hard to get out up here, but uh, I don't know. I've been violent with it, I guess. There's a little tap here for the cooler, which we can, after that's unplugged, Pull up a bit in the middle and push them out. One unit away. And we're in. This is where I can explain what I've done and why I've done it. Motherboards has a tendency when they get heated up and cooled down, heated up and cooled down to warp a bit. That's just how it is with heat and electronics. My idea was, because this thing has notoriously been hot whenever people used it, that the other components around the CPU and the graphics unit have touched the uh, heat sinks and short-circuited it. And I think that's what actually turned out to be. So underneath each of the heat sinks, I have a bit of printer paper with a cutout, so only the chip that needs cooling it's exposed. And uh, let's just uh, get going with how I've done it. Well, the concrete example of this thing. I'll keep disassembling and replace uh, my cooling paste just to show how. It'll work, don't you worry. Start with the front here. Oh yeah, just remember this is a bit of, bit of plastic. Flip it up with a flat. And unplugs. With this nice little connector there. Oh nice. That way it goes. Yeah. Let's get the entire board out. I would say when you do this this yourself. Don't take the entire board out as I'm going to do. Just take the X uh, clamps out, which will release the uh, the heat sinks and just do the paper thing that I've done. You don't need to do as much as I've done. Regardless. screws okay gently it's a little bit of a tight squeeze for the board but here we go I can also explain for the sake of uh, being a little 
paranoid, I guess. This is also just a bit of printer paper to insulate. To insulate from the actual bottom here, metal bottom. It works. I reckon. So here's the board itself with the electronics, all these small heat things are just uh, glued on. They're not necessary. Just the big one here. The two big ones, they come in one new package, don't they? Actually, I don't think they do. Huh. Oh well. Oops. Turn it back around and there we go. That is the plane processor, I think. The other the one must be the graphics unit. And as you can see, two chips needs cool, paper all around. So it sticks beyond the heat sink. So it doesn't touch anything. Can I peel it off? I can. You can see it is elevated, but it's not by much. Around the surrounding capacitors and whatever else that's on that chip unit. Let's get the other heat sink off. Same. Same deal, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, excess. I might keep that. Yeah, same deal. Printed paper. Put it aside. I'm just gonna recycle it. I don't feel like cutting new pieces of paper. Some friends and whatnot said, oh, oh, be careful, the printer, the paper doesn't burn, but you know. That's what the heat sink is for, to take the heat so it doesn't burn. It looks fine. It's fine. Bit of paper, toilet roll. For details. Ethanol. There. Just makes this more accessible. Oh, wow. That should be good enough. Shush. Yeah, that cooling paste removal done. Oh yeah, that's one of the two chips is the uh, graphics one. Oh yeah, 
before we forget, also need to remove it from uh, the heat sinks themselves. It's like big blocks of copper and aluminium. Yeah. You know, that's good enough. Yeah. So we have the motherboard cleaned up. The uh, processors, not the process, the heat sinks cleaned up. And our printer paper ready to be used again. Something like that. Uh, and uh, capacitor and there. Only the chip is exposed. Just how we want it. And since they're in two bits, we'll just start out putting one on and then we'll put the other one afterwards. You know. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Here I have some uh, Noctua cooling paste. I think I used Arctic Silver last time. Yeah, they're both good, so it's okay. That should be plenty, more than enough. Maybe even too much. But that's okay. We got the printer paper to take it. There's the cap. There. Put that aside. Yeah. And some screws ready for this. Oh, and don't worry, after all this, I'll demonstrate that it does work. Four screws. I don't know how it works with the X clamps, but uh, something along the same line, just without the screws on the back. Yeah, actually. Tape so doesn't conduct. It's fine. There we go. Bit of improvising. That's what comes with the territory. And then it won't slip around. Okay. Just wipe it off. Excess alcohol there. And it's a little shaky. I don't have anything to keep it still there. It's 
black and gold with the chip and that's how it's supposed to be. Come on. There. Checking distance, and you know, it feels solid. That's gonna work fine. It's not the best. But it's gonna be work. Gonna be working fine. Can get everything. It's trying to get an old console like this working. That's just how you have to do it. Rules you have to play by. Other bit of paper, just repeating the procedure with the other heatsink and the chip pair. That's also an annoying one since there's two chips. You get that, maybe a bit that overkill, way overkill. Good enough. Yeah, same procedure. Speaking of same procedure, let's do the same thing then. Bit of tape. enough two bits should do it just prepare the screws Too much, but just you don't want it again warping the board. Probably does a bit on both, but uh, you know that's why I have pruner paper underneath. So yeah, that is the heat sinks put back on with new cooling paste and the paper around to insulate. Yeah, that means it's time to reassemble and see if it works. Just, if I did it the right way around, I would make it easier. Just back in the case. Let's get the ethanol out here. Back in the case, boop. Let me just get some screws back in then.
The golden, round-headed. Fan goes back in. Make sure it's in the groove in the hole. And push back. Remember, for heaven's sake, put the tab back on so it gets the power. Come on. If I could do it right, come on. It's not that hard. Disk drive. Can't test games without the disk drive. Oh wait. Disk drive is well and good, but we need this on first. There we go. Because it has a fitting hole for describes legs there we go and we'll put this back on the front plate smaller torques and the little black screws there we go Another plastic bit says that way up. So we'll put it down there and expose the little button in the middle. Okay, I think it's time for test drive. Test run. See that it works with all the surgery done. So let's, uh, we don't need the cooling paste, the screws, we'll just push aside. This time, here comes the controller. Control, console a bit aside. Convenient monitor. Power, HDMI. We can take the screwdriver, hit the power button. Better work. Yeah, success. That's pretty good success. Happy I didn't red ring it again. <laughs> Just for a tutorial about how not to. Power out, HDMI out. Monitor goes up there. Yeah, it's very simple to get it back together. It's just everything in reverse. The cover here, make sure the metal flaps on the sides, they line the outside like that. Long screw, number one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. The inlets are not exposed anymore.
Oh yeah, before we forget. The uh, DVD button. The little green one just has a thing to sit on, like that. And that works. Has to be done after the first uh, bit of cover. Click, click. And the annoying side. Just make sure everything lines up right. That clicks everything well together. The grills. Two. And we can finish it off with the front plate. There we go. Keep the hot disk out for now. I want to reveal my secrets. Let's have another test. There we go. Still works. Still plays the dead rising. What I originally got the thing for. For free. But yeah, job done. No red ring. Stuff plays. Thank you for watching. Cheers.